Hey everybody, I'm Todd and this is Sweet Tea Guitars. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and welcome to the Great Guitar Build Off 2022. I'm so excited to be back in this again this year, you guys. I hope everybody has a great time. I can't wait to see what everybody does. I know there's going to be some amazing instruments uh, being created this year, and I'm hoping mine is one of them. I have not changed woods, but I have decided to do something a little funky. I messaged Scott from Bonehead Guitars a little earlier today to find out if he was cool if I borrowed a, uh, a technique I saw him do not too long ago. He tapered his fretboard and put a piece of accent wood in that taper like this. This is that ebony fretboard. I've ran it through the planer. Um, I've jointed all four sides of it. I've got a piece of purple heart in this ebony fretboard. I am going to border this with some light veneer, um, pretty much like he did. I think he used blood wood. I, I told him I would use different woods. I don't want to directly copy him, but Scott's a creative guy. I hope he takes it as a compliment because that's absolutely the way I mean it. And I think the, uh, the Instagram post where he posted the picture of that fretboard that he made, I think it said the world's sexiest fretboard. And I have to agree. Kudos, Scott. Both your builds last year were awesome. All your stuff is great. As are so many other builders who entered the great guitar build off last year. I see a lot of those guys are back this year and I'm excited to see what they do. So on my build, um, I've been working pretty much all day getting my lumber dimensioned. So I had a a subscriber of mine, he suggested I cut a taper piece for the center lamination on this neck or that center piece. So that's what I've done. I've tapered a piece of purple heart on the body wood. Uh, I don't want to pick all this up at one time, but I do want to show you guys what I'm doing here. So you already know my plan, but I'm just going to point out a couple of things. So I've got two main pieces of Paduke right here. I've got some curly purple heart outside of that, and this has got a little bit of figure in it, as you can see. Two more pieces of Paduke, and a center wider piece of Paduke. I don't really like doing a three wide piece body. You know, the dimension I need to gain, I would rather gain that by doing some laminates in the middle. I'm gonna insert some dark veneer in there. I'm going to put some dark veneer in between the two thin strips of Paduke and the Purple Heart. And then I'm going to use light veneer on these outside strips. Or vice versa. I may go light, dark, dark, or dark, dark, light. I haven't decided yet. I'll play, play around with this once I cut the veneer for it. I need to work on this fretboard. I want to get this thing glued up so it has plenty of time to cure before we slot it. I have already jointed both these sides. I've ran the tapered edges across the joiner as well. The only thing I have not jointed is that center, uh, that strip of purple heart. And I'm not going to take a chance on running that thing across the jointer. I want to make absolutely certain that I've got a really nice clean joint. I may turn this thing right here on its side and actually use this. I could also use my leveling beam, which may be a better idea. You know, I'm close already, so I don't want to play around with taking a chance, even with the hand plane. I don't want to take a chance on getting a bunch of chip out or anything like that especially this strip that I used down the middle of that fretboard. It's got some major curl in it, and I would be concerned that the, 
that the plain blade may not glide across that as easily as I think. Before we go any further, man, you guys made my day this morning. You know, I woke up this morning and I've got like 35, 40 comments on the video that I released yesterday. And everything you guys said made me feel so killer. So thank you guys. I really appreciate that. And right back at you, by the way, um, all you guys who are in the great guitar build off, as I said, I wish you guys the best of luck. You know, obviously I'd love to win the great guitar build off, but that's not why I'm here. Um, if I were to ever even place, it will be happenstance. The admiration that I would like to receive is from you guys, the, my fellow builders and the subscribers to my channel. You guys are the ones I'm out to impress. I feel like I've gotten to know some of you guys well enough to know that I respect your opinion. I want feedback on my build. I want to know what you guys think. I want to gain the experience of making a guitar that I'm not necessarily comfortable making. I want to push the envelope a little bit when it comes to design techniques and construction and all those kind of things. I'm excited about this, you know, but I also need to contain myself a little because I have a tendency to get all yee, you know what I mean? And, uh, I have to keep myself calm here, especially when I'm entering uncharted waters, which I absolutely am. I am trying some different things on this guitar. I am going to do my funky little tenon technique that I was telling you guys about on the figure eight build where I put one bolt through the back of the guitar at the end of the tenon past the third pickup. There'll be one ferrule and one M6 bolt going through the back of the guitar that actually bolts the tenon to that body. The reason I want to use that technique is because I feel like it will give me a homogenous neck to body fit. I think that'll be a cool way to mount a neck to a body. And I'm going to try something like that. You know, I may change that design slightly as we get closer. But I've left my neck blank at 31 inches long, which is plenty long enough for me to incorporate a tenon into this neck design. I want to glue up all these blanks. We need to do a little work on this wood before we start to do this glue up. Get some masking tape. We need to burnish this. This is my tapered piece of Purple Heart, my center neck section right here. I've used this number four a good bit. I shouldn't need too much. Honestly. So now that I've got that surface, I'll just hit it a few licks with this sanding board. And I'm not doing this for any other reason than to give myself a nice good glue joint. I just feel like getting a good 80 grit scratch on the on that board will help especially on a super hard wood like purple heart it'll help get me a good bond our tapered piece is good to go i'm going to do the same thing to this paduke we'll attach both of them to the table all right we're nice and solid let's take a couple of passes on this thing with the plane if you'll notice, as I move over this way, towards this side of the board, I angle my plane like that. And that way, the sole of the plane is riding on the board and getting me a nice flat surface. What I want to do now is get this thing glued up. I want to get some veneer put in between here. I've got a tapered piece of Purple Heart down the middle just to make it a little bit more interesting. All right, so standard glue up technique. I'm using again, the Appel Premium Wood Glue. Um, it is an aliphatic resin and I wanna make sure I get plenty of glue. I'm gonna move kinda quickly and I've got the, uh, the other stack laid out in the order I want it in. 
using these little cheap brushes like this, you want to make sure you pick any of this hair that gets down in your glue joint. Make sure you get those out. So I'm going to start on this end down here. And we won't put full pressure on this thing until I get a few clamps on it. I want to make sure everything's seated. Now the fact that I've got that tapered piece in there means it could want to move on me a little. All right, now we're going to start on this end and start applying some pressure. We've got nice even squeeze all the way down. All right, you guys, neck blank sorted. What we want to do now is move to the body. So what I want to do is just cut myself several strips of this. Four pieces of the light. So there's our four pieces of light veneer. Let's do the same thing with this wenge. And this wenge veneer is a little bit thicker. I only need two pieces of this. There's just two pieces of wenge, four pieces of that anagray. All right, what do you guys think? Subtle, you know, I don't want it over the top loud that's going to be just enough of a difference in color right here to allow us to get a, a decently interesting character out of that wood there so i'm liking that you'll have to forgive the hair it's got a mind of its own let's get this body blank glued up why don't we i am so looking forward to getting started on this build you guys i mean first of all I love Paduke, and I really love Paduke and Purple Heart together. But secondly, it's the great guitar build off. I'm ready to roll. So let's roll. We're gonna do the same thing we did on the neck blank. So that's my orientation that I want. Same deal, we got lots of lamination on this guitar, so I'm trying to move pretty quickly. I'm using a little bit more glue than I think I should help it stay open a little longer while I um, fiddle with these parts once we get this laid down and I can get you know that extra glue will help these little veneer pieces slide into place a little better I'll have a little bit more uh, movement capability on them it's going to cause me a bunch of squeeze out but you know I'll deal with that so excited to be here and I really appreciate you guys checking the video out all right, it's not perfect, but it's really, really close. So I feel I've got enough pressure on here. I got squeeze all the way down. How could I not have? I use way too much glue. Let's take some water and clean up some of this stuff. One more little spot back here, and then we're gonna work on the fretboard. That's a piece of Purple Heart in the middle of that ebony. Here's what I'm going to do to get this flat and nice and straight and everything. Let's pan down. I want the other side of this to be the front. I want to put some light veneer in between these two pieces. But before we can do that, I want to make certain that we're flat. So I've got my crimson fret leveling beam right here. I'm going to lay that on the side just like that. And I just want to run this up and down this piece of this ebony a few times let's flip it over do the same thing on this side now let's do this side okay we're looking pretty good now i need to do the piece of purple heart and how i'm going to do that i can fill a couple little chip outs down this board i've got 180 and 320 on this on this leveling beam I'm going to take my 180 and very carefully, 20 strokes, we'll flip it around, 20 strokes, there's one piece, we'll use that piece to gauge this piece, all right, so now let's see what that looks like, what do you guys think? 
I think that's going to be awesome. I'm going to glue it up just like I would if it were a neck blank until it comes time to clamp it. So what I want to do is I'm going to clamp this first. Okay. Then we'll come from the side. Not too much pressure because it's going to want to slide. I'll drop this off the side of the table so we can stay level down through here and put us a clamp in the center like so. Fretboard clamped. I'd like to have one more clamp right there. All right, you guys, one crazy weird fretboard glue up done. All right, you guys, so what we've gotten done so far, I've got the body blank glued up. We've got the neck blank glued up. I got the fretboard with the funky stripe down the middle with the purple heart and the curly anna gray veneer strips. I've got that glued up. We're waiting on those to be able to come out of clamp. I need to glue my top set up, but I'm not going to film that. I've already ran that top across the jointer. You guys have seen a top set glue up before, and you'll get to see that in the next video when I glue that top to the body. We're going to do some hollowing out on the body. Um, I may not get to that in the next video. We'll decide that when we get there. The next video is pretty much going to be working out this neck thing that I want to do with the tenon that runs under the neck pickup so I can make sure that we get killer contact between that wood and the body wood. And then we'll do the rest of that heel on that neck. It's going to be a standard glue in. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As long as you're subscribed by April 24th, you're in the drawing for the giveaway build. I hope you guys will continue to come watch my channel even after I give that guitar away. I've got a bunch of interesting things planned in the future. I've got the docks build, which we're calling the figure eight build. I've got that build going on. That guitar is going to be really something special. And then we've got the cloud nine build that I'm doing for the great guitar build off. This guitar is going to be something special as well. So I hope you guys will continue to follow along. And until episode three of my great guitar build-off project, you guys, peace and love.